Uh, so welcome, Robert. We're excited that you're here. Some of us have been um, your students in the past. Um, and um, we'll turn it over to you. Carolyn, are you ready? Um, and I, Betty is able to record and so is Jackie. So I'm leaving the recording to them this time. Jackie, you're recording? I'm recording now. And I'll post it, Robert, on YouTube and share it on our Facebook page, and then I'll share it to your Facebook page. Uh, okay. I, yeah, okay. So could somebody um, spotlight me, or do I have to do that myself? Um, Linda, that's you. Um, I, I would love for you to introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> Should I pin myself? Yes. Okay, I pinned myself. I don't know if you can spotlight me, that would be good. Okay, so, well, I guess, I don't know, I guess most of you know who I am. Uh, I've been kicking around uh, time. Uh, Google says that I was born in 1914. So I guess that makes me quite old. Uh, I. Oh, sorry, Robert, I'm you. I muted you by accident, I'm sorry. So what did you miss? Okay. Uh, How old you, you are? You were born in 1913. Google says I was born in 1914, so, so that makes me, uh, I don't know, sort of old. Um, <laughs> But uh, anyway, it's, it's, it's something that uh, art has been something I've been uh, passionate about for my entire life. And it's, um, and I've been teaching, as you know, uh, for a long time, since probably uh, 70, 1970. And, you know, doing uh, classes through the community colleges and the University of California extensions. And I do also do workshops. I do travel workshops. I've done many, many travel workshops. Gone to uh, gone to gone to Greece like fourteen times with groups, and I've gone to Bali, the south of France, Italy twice. I uh, went to Croatia last year, and Cuba. Uh, many wonderful workshops I've done. And so, and I wrote a book uh, a few years back uh, called Travel Drawing and Painting. That is, this is the book here, it's Travel Drawing and Painting. And um, I think you might, you might enjoy having a copy. It's really, uh, it's an excellent book on travel drawing and painting. And that's the subject of my talk today. I've done a lot of traveling. I've, I've traveled to um, 70 countries, painting and drawing. And so I guess that's a good enough introduction. So what I thought I would do today is talk a little bit about travel drawing and painting and feeling that the main thing that I want to do today is inspire you uh, to become a travel drawer or now the, uh, the word is urban sketcher. <laughs> so whatever you want to call it. And I am a person who carries a sketchbook with me all the time. So I have, I have a little pouch like this. And in this pouch, I have my, my sketchbook, my, my small sketchbook, and I have a, a, a little watercolor set here. And then I have my brushes and my, and my pens. And, and uh, I even have a, a little, a little, uh, water container in here. And uh, I carry this with me everywhere. And even when I go to the grocery store, I mean, I'm always carrying it everywhere I go. So I encourage you to put something together like that so you can do the same. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Zoom classes since uh, this pandemic began. I've been teaching Zoom classes with the Pacific Art League in Palo Alto and also the, the Santa Cruz Art League. And I teach mainly on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And my classes are always at 2, at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. If you're interested in, in uh, 
finding out more about those, uh, email me and I can send you my my latest newsletter with all of the information about the classes that I'm doing and coming up. Okay, so anyway, what I thought I would do today is um, do some, as I say, try and inspire you. And so I would thought I would show you some things that I've done and then do some, do some, uh, some drawing and painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my camera over to the, to my table camera now, and I'm going to work from that camera. Oh, boop, boop, boop. I didn't plug my camera in, sorry. I had all this time to do that and I didn't plug it in. Okay, so let's try this again now. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so here's my table here. And I got my camera focused on the table here. There we go. So what I was going to show you is some of the some examples of some of the drawings that I do. Now I I publish these these little sketchbooks here and if you want to order my big book, I could also uh, put one of these in for you also if you want one. Um, I thought I would show you some samples of some of the things that I do. Uh, this particular sketchbook, now what I do is I, on the back side of it, I, I, I always identify it because I've got about 100, 130 of these sketchbooks full of drawings and paintings. This one says Hawaii 2020, so this was uh, sketchbook I had when I went to Hawaii last January and I thought that I would just show you uh, some of the things like this is a, a sketch that I did uh, on the tray table on the airplane as the plane was as the plane was uh, leaving Sacramento I, uh, I sketched this in, in, in with a pencil and then I painted it on the tray table on the airplane and then when I got to uh, then when I got to this was this was this was in the in-flight magazine. I did that on the tray table on the airplane, and this one also. This is um, let's see what's his name is Bill. Um, Bill Kreltzman, and he's a grateful drummer, great Grateful Dead drummer. His his. Uh, picture was in the in-flight magazine. And then when I got to Honolulu, I was uh, sketching in the airport while I was waiting to get on the plane to Molokai. And this gentleman was sitting there and I, I did a sketch of him. And so just to show you what I do uh, when I'm in, the, in public and doing this, usually people don't really know that I'm sketching them. But this fellow uh, picked up on the fact that I was making a drawing of him and he asked me if I would uh, show him the drawing, showed him the drawing and then he said, can I have it? So what I do when people do, when people ask me that, and this is for you too, if you're traveling and you're in this situation, you of course can tear it out and give it to the person if you want. Or a couple other alternatives. One is you can say, as, as I do, I say I don't tear drawings out of my sketchbook. But you're welcome to take a photograph of it, or I will send you a copy of it when I get back to my back, uh, back home. And, and he said he'd like to have a copy. And so, so what I have them do when they say that, what I have them do, and then I did have him do this. As you see, I had him write his name on the back of my on the back of the drawing and so then I when I got home I made a copy of this drawing and I and I mailed it to him now this is another drawing I did from the same chair I was sitting in the airport and this fellow didn't even know I was drawing him so so he didn't ask me and uh, and then I thought I'd show you a couple things oh this one here this is a uh, sketch that I did of one of the gals in the workshop that I was doing in Molokai. I try to do a, a workshop in Molokai every every January 
And uh, this was uh, one that I did while we were doing uh, drawings of each other in the workshop. And then here is a sketch that I made in the airport in Molokai as I was getting on the plane to go to Maui. And this gal, she she was uh, you know sitting there, and I I was sitting, and I saw her profile, and I did that, and I I think it was her either her boyfriend or her husband was sitting next to her, and I did I did him at the same time, and that was that's this fellow here. So I have a lot of fun uh, doing these drawings in my little sketchbook. Cause the sketchbook is is four inches by five inches, so it's not very big, and it fits it does fit in a pocket. And so, I, so I, I do that. Now, this one I did on the airplane, a little, little twelve passenger airplane that I took to uh, to Maui. And then, uh, let's see, this is the uh, this is a little sketch that I did from the window in the airport, as I was waiting to get board the plane in Maui for Honolulu. And let's see, what else do I have here? Well, I'm just show you this one here. And this is a sketch I did of a gal at the food court in Honolulu. And um, while I was having lunch there, and these other people were also at the food court, and it, and they don't really know that they didn't really know that I was drawing them. They were they're fairly far away, and so I did did them. And this guy was in the airport also, and and uh, but he's this was the airport. Did, I did him. I, I always look for people and faces that I think are kind of fun and and, and that I that I like to like to do. Now here's one I did in ink, and then added some watercolor with the with the ink. So anyway, that's that's what I do, and uh, and then here let me um, just show you. Let's see this one here. I wanted to show you a couple in here also. So this. This is a fellow that I, this is a different, different, different sketchbook. And this is called uh, Coast, uh, Coast and Stanford. I did a, did a workshop over at Stanford University. And this was a guy sitting on a bench over at Stanford at, in front of the art museum in, at, at Stanford. And then this is a, this is a bust of a, of a, I don't know, Roman or Greek guy. I did that at Stanford. And then here's a sketch that I was going to show you of, of Elizabeth. Oh, Francis! I'm sorry, Francis. Some of you may know Francis. She she comes to the, the, uh, she comes to the uh, Sacramento uh, Fine Arts Center for the Friday morning drawing sessions, and so I thought I would show you some of those. Now that is. Have some of these here. Let's see as if I get this. Okay, so these, this is a little larger sketchbook that I have, and uh, oh, this is this one here. Well, I don't think. Let's see, I have to uh, look here. So here, okay, so this one. So this was at the this is at at the uh, at the Friday morning session at the at the uh, Sacramento Fine Arts Center, and uh, when I when I'm not interested in in the in the model pose, I sometimes draw the people that are at the at the art center drawing, and so I did that one, a fellow, and this is a couple couple more uh, people at the art center that were drawing the model. And then, and I have, uh, and then also here in um, in Davis, in Davis they uh, they have a, a, a group of urban sketchers in Davis, and I and I went to that to one of their sessions, and these are sketches that I made of the people that were drawing in um, at the uh, Davis. In, in Davis at the uh, Urban Sketchers uh, meeting that Saturday afternoon, and these are just sketches that I did at that time. Okay, and then let's see. I was going to show you. I'm going to show you um, this one here. Yeah. So this is 
So this is at the Fine Arts Center, and these are just uh, people that are drawing the model at the Fine Arts Center. And let's see. Okay. Let's see if I have any more of them. I can have some more in there. Okay. Guess not. Okay. So then, then um, I thought I'd show you these. This is. This is a sketch that I did in Venice, Italy, uh, at the end of our Croatian trip last year. And this was um, just the, uh, a panoramic, panoramic drawing of, the, of that, uh, um, of Venice. And then I wanted to show you this one here. Now this one is, this one is a totally blind drawing. It's a continuous line blind drawing. Uh, of the uh, of Venice, and um, as you can see, let's see if I get this up a little higher. You can see the whole thing. There we go. And as you can see, it's totally totally blind. And then I just went back in with a little bit of little bit of watercolor and put some watercolor in it, and and it makes a, it makes a fine, very and very nice little a nice little sketch. And then here is. Oh, more, more at the Fine Arts Center. More people drawing at the Fine Arts Center. <laughs> yeah, and then let's see. I was going to show you. Well, that's, no, that's good enough. Okay. Oh, and this is, this is one I did in, also I did in, in Venice when we were there last, last um, spring. And not last spring, but uh, a year ago, May, uh, we, were in, we were in Venice at the end of the at the end of our Croatian trip. This is Croatia and some of the drawings that I did in Croatia. That's all Croatia. This is Croatia. And, uh, and then sometimes I just do silhouettes and uh, gives you an idea of what, what you can do. So what I thought I would do today is I'll do a little demo for you. And, and I was going to do it in this little sketchbook here. I'm just going to clip this now here. And what I'm going to do is pretend that we're in Santorini. And I'm going to do a a sketch of this wonderful little village at, on the west end of the island of Santorini in Greece. Now, I've been to this place many, many times, and I have drawn this place many times also. And so, um, it's um, I don't feel it's cheating to do it from the from this photograph that I found in in a in a, um, in a cruise travel magazine. But by the way, um, what I was going to do is ask you if you have any questions as we're going along here to please just unmute yourself and and ask questions as we go along so that I can uh, answer any questions that you may that you may have while I'm presenting today. So any up to this point, are there any questions? David, how do you know where to start with a complicated drawing like this? Okay, so that's a really good question. And so what I what I do is I as I try if if I'm if this is um, if if well for a student uh, I would say the first of, first of all you have to uh, you have to if you're right-handed <laughs> this is this is the important thing if you're right-handed. Uh, if you're right-handed, you want to start. You want to start over on the left-hand side and work this way. So what I do is I start at the top. I start at the top, and then I work from left to right, and then from top to bottom. And that's what you're going to see me do. And the reason for that is if I start, if I start anywhere else, then my hand is going to be covering up what I'm drawing. So I try to. I try to start where I can see 
so that I can be able to see what I'm drawing while I'm while I'm drawing it because I'm going to be sneaking peeks at the paper while I do this. And so that's that's a great question. So if you're left handed, I would start over here and work from here to this side and then and then down. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, what kind of pen is it that you're using? Ah, I was going to get to that. So this today, what I'm going to be using is this precise Pilot Precise V5. And the reason I'm using this pen is because not only is it a very smooth operating pen, very nicely made. It's got a cover on it. I like pens with covers on them. I don't like these these click, click, click pens. I like the ones with the covers. And the nice thing about this pen is that the, the ink in this pen is water soluble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this drawing and then I'm going to add water to it. And you'll see what that looks. You can use to do this is this pen here. It's a Pilot Varsity. This is also a valuable pen. Pen. So this, the lines are a little finer with this one than this, than this Pilot Varsity. But the Varsity is also a really nice pen. It's a fountain pen. It's a it's a throwaway fountain pen. Look at that. And I know some students actually uh, have figured out a way to fill these with ink on that, but. But you can get these. For, you can get both of these pens at the art store, and of course, you can always get them from Amazon. And then my other favorite pen is this one here, which is a with grip roller pen, and this is also water soluble ink. So all of these three pens are all water soluble ink. So you can draw with them, and then you can add water to your drawing and add tone to the to the drawing uh, with with that. Any other questions? Okay, no questions. So I'm going to start this drawing now, and you'll see that what I what I do is I try to make I try to draw with, with continuous lines as much as possible. Is this won't be all one line, uh, all a one line drawing, but it'll be it'll be uh, that you'll see I'm going to be using a lot of continuous lines as I as I do this. I don't like to draw and pick up the pen, keep picking up the pen. I feel it's a waste of time. I, it, it goes a lot faster when you can, you can just just do the drawing and, and then have it, have it happen. I like these Zoom classes because you can really see, you can really see very carefully what what I'm doing. So I'm just going to start with this windmill right here and just start doing this. Those windmill is there, and then. The window there. Now, when you have windows, you want to fill them in black like that, and then that makes it look like it has an interior. And go over here, and I've got a, a doorway down here, and it's black also. Put that in. There's another a doorway or something right here. I'm sorry, oh, that's my phone. Okay. And I think I'm going to go make that like that. There we go. That's better. As I okay. and there's one back there, and then so just I just kind of try to keep it on the paper, and I kind of work I work quickly. I don't want to take a lot of time because uh, you know when you're out there traveling, you don't want to spend a lot of time. Uh, doing these things, you want to be able to do them fairly quickly. And uh, I got a little house down here with some windows, some more doors and windows. And you know, I'm not trying to be real careful. I'm just kind of trying to be loose and free, and just 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 kind of do it. 
you know, quickly and not, not spend a lot of time. I don't think about it at all. I just kind of draw as I go along and just But the neat thing about travel drawing and painting is that when you do draw and you're traveling and and you can travel at home too, of course, what happens is you start becoming very, very um, in tune with what you're seeing and you, and you notice things that you would never notice if you hadn't been if you hadn't been drawing. So I'm noticing things here that I would never see if I just kind of looked at it or if I just decided, well, I'm just going to take a photograph. I don't really, I don't really think it's that helpful to just go out and take photographs. And then, and then also the other thing that I do not recommend is taking photographs and then coming home and think you're going to paint from your photographs. Uh, that rarely happens. You rarely come home and, and do a painting from a photograph that you've taken. I know the very first time I traveled, I on occasion would take a photograph of something that I thought, well, I'll just paint that when I get, when I get home, but never happens. You get busy. You don't, and you don't really, uh, you just don't do it. And it's not as exciting drawing, you know, when you're at home from photographs. So I know I'm doing a photograph now for you for this, but I would never do this, um, you know, just for my own, for my own pleasure. I'm doing it as a, as a demonstration for you today. So, so then there's a window right here. Let's see, let's go back up here now and continue with this. I've got a, some doors and windows up here with a little window up here for that building and then this one here and I'm going to come over back over here now some archways here which I'm going to get back to later there's a there's a door there and there's a stairway or something here with a wall come down and then let's go up here and you can see how quickly this goes when you just keep keep the pen moving you don't you don't stop to think about it you just kind of keep the pen moving and just go from from item to item from different things that you see now here's a stairway, and when I do stairways, I just kind of like to go this way, I just go back and forth like this. When I do stairways, I just go like that. Makes it really easy. And then there's a wall here, some more things here. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to go over here. Let me go over here first, and then we'll get back over there later. A little dome right here. A couple little things up here. The little windows, whatever. <clears throat> so many little items. And this wonderful urban escape. If you have any questions as we're going along, just unmute yourself and please be free. Feel free to ask any questions that you have. I like questions. wall here with a, a chimney here. Do you ever go back and take these sketches and then paint them into a, a 
big drawing or a big painting? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I don't. Uh, what I do is, if I'm going to do a painting, I will do a small field study in my in my sketchbook. Um, so yeah, so let me see if I have any here. Yeah, so let's see if I can give you an example here. Okay, so the other day, so so every year I go to um, I do a coastal class, and so this 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 is a, a field study for a painting that I did, and this is another field study for a painting I did. So when I'm going to be doing a painting, this is Rockaway Beach in Pacifica that I did for my coastal class. So when I'm going to be doing a, a, a larger painting, I always do a field study like this first. And then, and then I'll do the painting uh, from that. Um, I, so yeah, so, so that's, let's see if I have any more in here, maybe not. Yeah, so, that, so that's what I do. I do, I do field studies. I do field studies before I do a painting, and and then see if I have any in here. What is it have. that you particularly include in your field study? Well, the field study when I when I do a field study like this one that I was showing you here. Let's go back to that. So when I do a field study, what I what I do is I first of all I make a I make a border here, and then. I decide where the horizon is going to go, like it's for a coastal painting, and I decide what colors I'm going to use, uh, what, and then I do a pencil drawing, of course, and then I paint it in. And so what the field study allows me to do, it allows me to paint, it, allow, it, it allows me to, to do the entire painting at a small scale. So when I'm when I'm faced with my larger sheet of watercolor paper, I can then take uh, I can then take the watercolor paper, and I know exactly what colors I'm going to use, what what the composition is going to be, and what order I'm going to use. So I have I have a, a road map of what I'm going to do to make the painting happen. Let me just go over here. I think I can find it really quick, and see if I can get you. Uh, a, a larger painting of, of that. So here, so here is um, that one that one field study that you saw. See, that's that's the larger painting that I did from from maybe not that one, but a, but a similar. You can't see the whole thing, but that's this is the larger painting I did from that from that field study like that. So, so the painting is this is a half sheet watercolor, and the paint the um, the field study is only four inches by five inches. So, if I have any others here, well, anyway, that gives you an idea. That gives you an idea of how how that works. But of course, that's not travel sketching. That's that's more. Um, Coastal, coastal painting. Uh, any other questions about that? Is that does that answer your question? I don't know. I hope so. So I'm going to mine. Thank you. Would you say okay? Good. So as you see, I'm continuing on here. See how we are with time. Okay, good. Doing okay. Another stairway over here. There's a wall. A little window right here. And then I see a little stairway here. This time going up. There's 
the wall coming down like that. There's a stairway on the other side of that wall there, isn't there? There's a little patio in here, a little window right here. And we continue on here. So I'm just going to kind of hurry through this. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here with some uh, I got a nice stairway coming down here. You can see this little stairway here coming down. And just put in the, the walls here. And then get my stairway in here. There's a wall here. The, the, the thing about doing architecture is that you want to have your lines fairly straight and not curving. And then you also want to try and have all your verticals more or less vertical. That the one thing that I see a lot of students mis make mistakes on is they don't, they don't have their walls really vertical. So you want to try and keep your, your walls vertical when you have a vertical line really make it really make it you know really make it vertical okay now that stairway continues on down here doesn't it with the little, little walls here and then the other thing is you don't really need to have everything you don't really need to draw everything you know you can you can edit your sketch to just draw the things that you want to. Um, you know, you don't have to have every everything that you're seeing in the in the in the sketch. Now there's a doorway right there. Put that in. There's some windows here. That wall coming down and then we have another uh, another kind of stairway coming down here. We got another some more stairs here. And a little so you can see what I'm doing here. These stairs get a little bit larger here, and then I got something coming in front of the stairs there. And more stairs. And Go up here with that kind of dirt wall there. Okay, so then, then I just come down here now with this, this little roof area, roof terrace here with a kind of a doorway right here. And then a window right here. And that wall comes out here like that. And I think then I'll just kind of, I just kind of stop here. And we'll, we'll just draw it like that. And, and I'm, I could continue and draw all of this stuff over here too, but I'm just, for now, I'm just going to leave that. There's a, there's kind of a thing here, it's a big doorway here. I should put that in. And that wall comes down. 
Okay, so I think I'll just go ahead and and just stop this drawing now and take my water <clears throat> and uh, take my water and add water to this drawing and you can see and you'll see what happens when you add water to it. <clears throat> so I put my water here so you can see it. And see what we do with the drawing. So you can see it doesn't take very long <clears throat> to do this. <clears throat> so now I'm going to just go ahead and, and I'm going to put water where I see where I see darkness. So this this is curving here, so I want to have that dark on that side. And then inside of these the two little archways here. And then oh I that didn't I didn't draw the I didn't draw the ocean back there. I should put that in like that. The ocean back there. So that's nice. And then this has a dark has a dark color. So you can see as we do this how it changes uh, it changes our, our little line sketch into something a lot more interesting when we add the and the water, the water washes to it. And I'm looking for places now to, uh, to put, to put my water washes. Robert, you often carry one of those water pens with you, don't you, instead of trying to get water and have a brush? No, I don't. I, I carry a brush and a little bottle of water. I don't carry a water pen with me. Uh, I don't do that. Um, I have tried that. And I, I, I prefer having a brush and a little uh, and a little water container with me than those water pens. Um, the reason is the water pens, I can't control how much water is on the brush that well with the water pens. So I don't use the water pens. I don't know what you're talking about. I have some, but I don't I don't use them. So good question. Yep. So as you can see, now I'm getting some tone in here, various places. And now there's a nice dark tone there. And there's some on the stairs here. There's some, some you know, on these stairs here. And come down here like that. So what I try to do is I try to put put wash next to things to make things uh, stand out. And you can see how my loose sketch is just what we're trying to do is capture the essence of the place. We're not really trying to to draw exactly what's there because uh, we can do that with a photograph. We don't need to. This is just a, a fun exercise to to help us to see what we're what we're experiencing as we travel. So it makes traveling so much more interesting when you can when you can go in and you can do little sketches like this and then and then what what a nice record you have of where you've been and and what you've what you've seen and also you remember what you've seen so much better once you've drawn it this way. I know Frederick Frank, you know his his wonderful books on drawing always said that he has never really seen anything that he hasn't drawn. So drawing can really help us to to see. And that's uh, one of the one of the benefits that we have one of the, the perks that we have for making drawings like this. So as you can see, I'm um, how how the sketches transform. Can you see okay? I, I guess you can, huh? Guess the lights okay. You can see that, so we can get some in here and here and here. Some more stairs here. 
back side of this from here like that now the other thing you can do with this is that you can you could put watercolor on it too if you wanted to so if i wanted to i could take i could take a little bit of watercolor and i could i could maybe paint in some of the some of the things that i think are are kind of fun so maybe here this is a a pier maybe uh some color on this dome up here like that um some brown on that one that dark area there and let's try some some yellow here on this one here so you see that can also help to uh, kind of spiff up your your drawing you could also you can just do watercolor on it and and create here's my here's my distant ocean i'm mean, not ocean sea mediterranean sea there and could even we could even put some sky in here if we wanted to like like this just add a little bit of sky color and let's see let's take some more of this color here and in here let's see maybe up here there's something here Got some yellow over here. So just so you can see how you can add a little bit of color here and there and you can get you can get it just makes the, the sketch all that much more interesting. So anyway, um, so how is that? I don't know. Comments, questions? With all the classes that Will, Larry and I and Bill took with you, I have to be honest, you always made it look so easy. But the second that Larry and I started trying to draw like this when we were on uh, cruises or traveling, it really is a lot of fun and it makes for a much better trip, I think, with oh, your memories. Thank you. I thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying that. It really is uh, true. Oh, you know, there's something else uh, I just remembered that I was thinking about showing you that you probably would like to see. I, I'm just going to put some some green in here for the for this uh, green here. Uh, one thing that I do when I when I'm on a cruise, or uh, yeah, especially on a cruise, uh, I like to do. I like to do drawings. Um, I like to do these panorama drawings, and I don't know if you, if you've ever. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get one, a couple of them, and show you in a minute here. But anyway, you can see how you can keep continue to do, work on that. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just go in my other room and I'm gonna get this sh to show you, and then I'll be right back. <clears throat> So last, what was it, last, um, about a year ago in the fall, uh, we did a cruise. I've done two Alaska cruises now, and we did a cruise to Alaska, and I did this, I'm just going to let this dry here, I did this, um, I did this, this, one of these little books. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but you can buy these books, uh, they're, they're, they're blank books like this, and you can and you can paint in them. So what I did this, 
I did this drawing on the on the cruise last. It was last. It was a year ago, last August. And so this is the uh, the drawing I did on the on the cruise on the Alaska cruise. And this this one is Glacier Bay. And this is the most recent one I've done. But you see how this is here. This is uh, this is the way. This is all done on the cruise boat as we were as the boat was moving along in Glacier Bay. I'm just showing you the pieces of it. And there's the glaciers. You can see the gla see the glaciers here. Coming down. There's another glacier coming down here. It just goes on and on and on. There's another one here. And that's all, that's the end. So this is about 20, about 25 feet long. And it's a, it's just a, just a lot of fun. You can get these, you can buy these little books. Now, another, here's another one that I did up in Yosemite. This is, uh, this is up at Sierra Point in Yosemite. And Sierra Point, from Sierra Point, you can see, you can see uh, Vernal Falls. So here's, here's Vernal Falls. And then you can also see Nevada Falls. There's Nevada Falls. And then I just kind of stay horizontal and I move around and I just paint what I see, the cliffs. There's Illilouette Falls right there. And then here's another one. And then here's Yosemite Falls over here, all the way around. And this is about 270 degrees. And then there's North Dome right there. And that's, and that's the end of that. And that's the end of that, of that book. But these are a lot of fun. Here's another one that I did in, in here. Let me get this out of the way. Here's another one I did in Bagan. We went up in a balloon on the morning uh, that we were there, and then in the afternoon we went to this temple. And Bagan, there's 3,000 Buddhist temples in Bagan, uh, Myanmar. And, uh, and we went up to the top of this temple, and I just sat at the top of this temple, and I did a, about a 270 degree uh, book again like this. Of the uh, my view from of the temples in, in Bagan, and here we go. There we go. Isn't that cool? And then later I put in some balloons just so just so I to remind that you can do that there. But that's uh, that's the Bagan book. So anyway, I I've, I've got about I don't know eight or nine of these books that I've done over the years. And it's, they're a lot of fun, also. So anyway, that's um, that's that's that. Let's see, did I show you? Yeah, I, sh I showed you this book. Okay. So anyway, so that's that. So any? Oh, I wanted to show you the book a little bit of the book before you go, um, and and tell you that if you'd like to order this book from me, you can get this book. See, these, this book has a lot of travel paintings and drawings in it, showing you how to do it. So here's an example of a, of a field study, and then there's the painting, you see. So that's the field study that, in the little sketchbook, and then that's the, that's the painting. And here again, shows you the field study, and then this is the, uh, this is the painting. This is, this is up in uh, Ireland, and this is in... Uh, Cinque Terre, uh, Vernazza, and then here's here's some here's one in Baja, and here's a painting I did in in Venice, and then and then the, this is the uh, Macros House in Killarney, which by the way is uh, exact same the house that uh, Filoli is uh, is built a model of this house here. And then this is 
Greece again, and then Yosemite, and and then this Santorini, and so you know we see, and then we do faces in here, and then sketches of people, and all this stuff. So many things in this book. It's a really great book, um, and so if you would like to have a copy, uh, I can send. I will send you a copy. There are twenty-eight. Let's see how much are they? There, yeah, twenty-eight ninety-five, twenty-nine dollars. And then with the tax, it's about thirty-one fifty, and so add eight dollars on for shipping. So if you send me thirty-nine dollars, I'll send you one of these books. And if you want to have one of these sketchbooks, also just add another ten bucks, and I'll send you one of those as well. And I put it in the same package. So anyway, uh, that's that's what you what you got here. My little book. I'm trying to sell you my books now. This is. Um, this is this is Chichen Itzu, and this one is a nice is an interesting story. I was I was uh, on a tour on a tour of Chichen Itzu from Cancun, and I was listening to this guy tell me all about Chichen Itzu, and I said I'm not going to remember even a tenth of what he's saying, so I just I just uh, slipped away from the from the group and I went over, sat down, and I did this painting. And so I'm so glad that I did. I, if I hadn't done it, I wouldn't have had that painting. So I was really, you really sometimes you have to leave your tour group and go off by yourself if you want to do if you want to do things, you know that that uh, you want to paint and draw when you're traveling. So anyway, uh, this book, 39 bucks, gets you that book and. No, I guess um, I'll ask any questions. I th think we're I'm supposed to do end at noon. So, any questions before we uh, we end this uh, demo today? I've shown you a lot of stuff. So, so uh, I've shown you a lot of things today. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed what what we did. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. It was great. Uh, any questions, anybody? Um, where do you get those panoramic books? Those are wonderful. They're wonderful. You know, if you if you would like me to tell you how to get one of those, uh, send me an email, and okay. and I'll send you the the um, company in this country that that sells them. There is a company that sells them in this country, and I don't remember the name of it here, but I can but I have it in my uh, in my files, and I, I'll send you the name of it. Uh, and they they sell those books, and they also sell inks and and pens and brushes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and my email address is really easy. It's paint all day. Paint all day, all one word. At gmail. Dot com. Send me an email, and I'll send you uh, the name of that of that uh, company that sells those books because they're hard to find. You can't get them at the art store. They don't have them at the art store. Okay. Any other questions? That was a good one. If we do want to buy your book, would we send you an email and can we pay on something like Venmo or would you want a physical check? I, I prefer a physical check, okay. but you can go to PayPal on my website and, ah, you, can okay. pay, and you can pay away. Just go to books and then just enter in that amount, and I know I'll know what it's for, okay. either thirty-nine or forty-nine, and I'll know what it's for. PayPal uh, on my website, and my website is www. y o u create. dot com. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> that was so fun. I feel like I would get lost in the middle of one of those sketches. <laughs> well, I do too. <laughs> I do too. I get lost too when I do it. As you can see. <laughs> do you I do the best I can. Robert, do you carry uh, watercolor paints with you when you travel or do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course I do. Oh, yeah. Okay. In, in, um, well, what do I do? I, paint? I, carry, I carry a little a little little box like this. Whoops. Uh, okay. I like to carry one of these uh -huh. little boxes. Okay. Yeah. And that's that's all I need. I only need 10 colors. I don't need more than that. <laughs> Good. So that makes it easy, compact, don't carry a lot of stuff. 
And I also carry a stool with me too, a folding stool. I didn't show you that today, it's in the car, but I uh, also carry a stool too. So I can sit anywhere I want and, and paint, yeah, yeah. So I, I did do the travel drawing class um, a couple times this uh, spring and summer for uh, the Pacific Art League and Santa Cruz. Uh, I'll probably do it again. So just keep an eye on what I'm doing on my website. My website has all uh, different classes that I have coming up and you can find out what I'm doing. Go to, go, to drawing, go to painting and drawing classes and there's a list of everything that I'm scheduled to do and I just scheduled, uh, boy, I just scheduled uh, two more classes this morning in, in uh, January and February for the Santa Cruz Art League. So, uh, so I have all that stuff. I have a, a class coming up in December, uh, some classes in December that we're doing January and February. And I haven't gotten into March yet, but I'm sure we will anyway. Robert, will you um, will you get more of your book, The Practice of Drawing as Meditation? You know, I don't. I don't have it, and I and I've been asked if I'm going to reprint more. I'm all out of them. It's a really good book, I know, and I I just don't know. I'm getting old. I don't know if I want to have another thousand books to try and get rid of. So. I don't know. <laughs> I'll start. I'll, I'll start the hunt for the second hand. You can you can get them. Uh, you know you can get them if you go to Amazon, but they're really expensive. I'm sure because there's not many out there. They're, I only printed a thousand, and and they're they were gone a long time ago. So okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I wish I had some more. This is a really good book. Yeah. Thanks. And I'm doing a class now called Mindful Drawing, and it's very much. Uh, on that same subject, practice of drawing is meditation. Yeah. Any well, other? Thank you, Robert. This was really interesting. Oh, you're you're and so welcome. You thank you thank for you very inviting much. me. Yeah. I really enjoy this. Thank you, thank you for inviting me, and I hope that I quote inspired you. Yes. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you, Robert. Thank you, thank you Robert. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.